the first the first reporting feature that we're going to dig into is called our SIM card reports. And the SIM card reports are visible at two different layers. They're visible at the organization level and they're visible at the group level. We'll start out at the organization level. If you look at the top here, you can see reports. Again, we're at the organization level. At this level, there's only one report to choose. That's our SIM card reports. So we'll open that up. Now, when you look at at here, there's a couple different sections. Right up at the top, there's a table of all the different carriers. So we auto detect every router that you have in this organization. We read the SIM card IDs and we automatically associate those to the, the respective carriers. And so we automatically populate this table based on the SIM cards you have in your router. So you don't have to do anything to get this table to show up. The only thing you have to do is you have to configure your billing start dates. So the SIM card reports help you keep track of usage across your carriers, across your SIM cards. And then as a service provider, it helps you keep track of your customer's usage as well. So at the, at the organization level, I like to think of this as the service provider level. So if you're a service provider and you're buying data services from all these different carriers, you're probably then going and offering your customers some sort of custom data plan that might include several different carriers or just custom bundles that they might not be able to buy on the market themselves. So again, at the organization level, this is where I, I view this as kind of the cost perspective. This is what you're paying the different carriers for. And so if we look at at and I've not configured that one yet. We can come in here and we can say, you know, Pretend we're paying AT&T for a hundred gigabytes per month bucket. That's that's what we're subscribing to from AT&T, and then we're going to go and dole that out to different customers in different ways. Now, if you've already started your month and you know you've transferred 10 gigs, you can account for that, and then you just need to choose whatever your billing start date is with the carrier on that plan. And so, for simplicity, I'm just going to choose the first of the month. And then you can set up email notifications. So if you go, if your if your data plan that you're subscribing to from the carrier has some sort of a, a threshold where you start paying more, or you start hitting overages, or you start getting throttled, you can account for that here, and then you can alert your team down here as as you see fit. So you can choose whatever threshold you want to get alerts at, and get those alerts automated so that you don't run into throttling issues or overage issues on your side. Okay, so I've just saved that. Now, next to each carrier here, you're gonna get a little report uh, graph icon as well. So the all carriers, that tracks every SIM card, every carrier, just a rolled up aggregate usage. And then you can see down here, we've got a a nice report to chart that out. So in February, we used almost 20 gigs of data across all the SIM cards. And so far in March, we're ticking up around almost seven gigs of usage so far. And so as you go over time, as you use this feature, this chart will continue to update once a month. And again, you can come down to the individual carriers and see specific to each carrier, how much usage you've had on, on on each of those as well. So you get really nice rolled up aggregate reports so you can track trends and see how your utilization is trending between month to month and carrier to carrier. The SIM pool feature here in the middle of the custom pools, we'll talk about that at the group level. I think that's more useful at that level. So we'll, we'll skip that one for now and come back to that in a minute. As we scroll down, we've got per SIM daily data usage. So you can drop in any number of IMSIs, the IMSI number from your SIM cards. We'll just plop a few in there to populate this report. But you can take any SIM cards that you want to get a daily usage tracking for. You can just drop those in here and get a nice clean CSV. So we'll just look for the week so far. I'll download that, open that up. Let that generate here. So any any SIM card that you've got utilization on is gonna give you 
the exact kilobyte usage for each day that you've selected that there is actually usage there for. Now, not all of the MZs that I dropped in there are showing up, and that's because those ones didn't have usage. The only ones with usage will show up. But if you've got a customer who's got some sort of question or confusion on you know where their utilization is coming from this is a nice way to just export all that data into one one clean table and find that now the last item down here the devices of sim cards this is really useful for just keeping track of where your sim cards are so here you can see we've got a device called the pdx f566 and you can see all the SIM cards that are loaded into that device. So every SIM card and every slot is going to be reported back and listed out here. So if you've got a thousand devices, each with two SIM cards in there, you can search. You can search by MZ, ICC ID, mobile telephone number. You can search by all sorts of criteria to find those SIM cards if you're looking to see where a particular one is. Or if you're just trying to inventory it, you can download that CSV and have that all stored in a, in a file so that you can reference that at any time you need. So lots of really useful functionality here at the organization level. Now, if we dig into the group level, we'll show you how you can use that perspective to shape the customer side of this. So now we're in our customer ABC group. And similarly, we go up to the reports and we go down to the SIM card reports. So again, we get that same table at the top that's automatically populated. I haven't configured this at the group level yet, so it's the same basic process here. It's gonna auto-populate the MZs as it sees each carrier, and you can set those billing start dates. At the customer level, this might not be as, as, um, as useful because more than likely you're selling them some sort of custom data plan. So the per carrier perspective may or may not be as important to that customer, but Regardless, you can give them that visibility so that they can kind of see where their utilization is being sent to in terms of the different carriers. But if we look at the SIM pools, this is where it gets really powerful for giving your customer a nice clean experience. So you can give your customer data plans that span any carrier you want. And so you can just drop in the MZs for the different SIM cards that you're giving. So here I've got AT&T and Verizon SIM cards in this little custom bucket. I'm saying all of those sims have access to a bucket of 50 gigs per month. And I'm going to start billing my customer on the first of the month or whatever day you want to choose. And then again, you can get email notifications. And so you could have a customer email address on this notification list so that they know when they're starting to approach an overage situation so that they're not surprised and you don't get that nasty phone call three weeks later when they get their very, very expensive bill you can avoid that surprise and give them notifications as they tick up closer towards that that overage threshold and then you can give them a notification rated at 100% so that they know now they're in overage data territory. So again, this gives you a lot of different ways to track usage and overages on your side that you're paying for and then also track it and communicate with your customers on their side so that everybody's in the loop and you can notify different groups independently of each other. Now, similarly, at the group level, you've got these same features that you saw before, the per SIM daily data usage and the device and SIM card listing out. So depending on where you're trying to search. And again, since InControl2 is multi-tenant friendly, you can give your customers access to this so they can come in and search their MZs, their devices for specific SIM cards or whatever they're looking for, but not not restrict yourself from doing that at the organization level. So you've, you've got the ability to keep them out of other people's data, but give them self-service access to their own information. So that covers everything for the SIM card reports.